Let's do it. You ready? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on, guys? What's going on, guys? It's been a long, long time. Way too long, actually. Mm -hmm. Hopefully, you guys got the results you wanted. And if you go to the University of Hertfordshire, uh, congratulations. That <laughs> <laughs> <Well, laughs> got blood was stuck. <laughs> like, I, I, now I'm not a fresher senior anymore. Actually, I'm still considered fresher senior. I mean, it's not fresher anymore, so it doesn't really matter. Fresher every year. Basically, one of the main problems that I had through my whole time as a student was money. So money was always a big issue. So on the first day, whoa, <laughs> I just spat all over, yeah? On the first day, you'll get your student finance, you'll feel like the Wolf of Wall Street, spending spree everywhere. And then at the end of the month, you'll just be eating noodles, breakfast, lunch, dinner. It's my dinner, man. It's only 25p. Yeah, it's still like, yo, you don't know about this. And for that sole reason, we thought that to start this survival guide was to uh, give you some money management tips. Yeah, I completely agree. You know, you never know how expensive things really are until you start paying for them yourself. Trust me, I learned from experience. So get your pen and paper and let's get started. All right, so the first thing, the elephant in the room, the myth of student finance. Because, you know, you wake up one day, you look at your bank and it's just there smiling at you. But then that last seconds, I'm telling you seconds. And the reason why is because there's a lot of expenses and because you think that you have that much money, you spend it all. The easiest way to tackle this problem is budgeting. So you'll have your money coming in, so your student finance, your grants, your loans, not your tuition fees, you will never ever see that. Money from your parents maybe, if you are getting paid from a job that you have. And on the other side, you'll have your expenses, including your accommodation, like really regular bills, such as your phone bill, for example. Once you get all of that, you you will deduct your expenses from your money coming in and with that you can calculate how much money you'll have left until your next to the price drop. <laughs> no, you won't have to, I'm sure you won't. And I know what you might be thinking. It's the same for me. I don't follow it, but at least this way I'm aware of how much money I actually yeah. have. Um, because usually I get my money, I get actually four grand or however much you get. I think that, you know, that's how much money I have available. But it's not, there are so many things that you need to pay for right at the beginning of the semester. Mm -hmm. you, you think you got four grand, but out of that four grand, you only have 400 to spend. It helps you to know that when you have a hundred pounds to spend every month. The next most important thing is a student bank account. Now, I would recommend that every student get a student bank account yes. because it can have a lot of perks in comparison to your normal average bank account. Now, one of the major perks is having an interest-free overdraft. I know some people might be too scared to use the overdraft or some people might see the overdraft and get really happy and spend it all, but I would say just use it for emergency purposes. If you know that your student loan is going to drop in like two days time and you just need a bit of money to tide you over, then use it because you know the money is going to come back to your account. Make sure that you're not using more than what you have so do be careful and only use it for your emergency situation and also that helps you with your credit score and obviously now right now you're too young to know what a credit score is maybe some of you some of you know what it is because it's just something that in the nearly future uh, banks will use to see if they can actually loan you money to buy a house or whatever it is that you need it so <laughs> you have you have many banks that have a uh, student accounts. I don't know why it's taking so long to say that. But yeah, <laughs> it's like HSBC, Barclays, something there, NatWest, and so on and so on. I personally use, that was sick. <laughs> I, I, I personally use HSBC. And the main reason why is because at the time, it's quite shallow. Um, at the time they had a free Amazon voucher. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. What a great reason to join a bank. Uh, it was a sixty pound watch. Got sixty pounds. Many banks have different like sort of advantages and benefits that you can um, look at. Yeah, so I chose Santander firstly because we have one right on campus. Little plug there, guys. And also because you can get a free rail card with it. Now, I know that a lot of you might be coming from London, so you might not think it's useful, but actually, you can get 30% off travel in London too. Make sure travel cheaper for the next three years. Yeah, it's so convenient having it right there. If you ever have any issues, it's right there. You know, the employees are lovely people. So, yeah. Would definitely recommend them too. I'm pretty sure people are gonna ask about the Oyster card and rail card. Once you go into underground, go to the people there, just ask to connect your rail card to your Oyster. Yeah, it's really simple. Yeah, and then you'll have, you'll literally have, you know, discounted fares throughout uh, London underground. Now the good Wait, thing- Wait, I just made such an ugly thing. <laughs> what do you do that for? Hi. I don't know what the fuck it was. 
<laughs> All right, so next thing, how to make money. Now, as a student, I did find really helpful to actually have a part-time job. The good thing is we have a student union on campus that's run by students, a lot of students in that. <laughs> now, they're always looking for enthusiastic individuals. They're always looking for enthusiastic individuals. <laughs> Sorry. They're always looking for enthusiastic individuals to join the incredible team. From the student union, we have many jobs from working at the forum, working as a bar staff, working as promotions, they're working in the SU shop. They have many jobs. It's quite a big sort of network. If that is something that is not, you know, around the corner, we still have a careers hub, a service that the university provides or our university provides that, um, you know, uh, promotes different sort of uh, workplaces. If that is still not part of your thing, we have a outlet store down the road that has many shops and then obviously our surrounding cities so St. Alvin's, Welling, if you have a car and for people that don't go to this university just check your surroundings I'm pretty sure your university has some sort of uh, service that allows students to find student jobs yeah, and also with student jobs they tend to fit it around your timetable because they know that you're a student so. the money will definitely help you whether it's for books or uh, freshers wristband <laughs> so the next thing is knowing how to save your money or how to spend it <laughs> Why are you making that face? Ew! <laughs> so retailers are really clever. They will flood your social media with sales and new releases that they've got around the same time that your student fires drops. Now some people definitely fall for it. I wonder who? Obviously these tips have to come from somewhere and this is from experience. I have a really bad experience when it comes to uh, spending. Uh, that man, that, that money, because obviously I didn't know then. I was still young. Uh, I didn't have nobody like me to tell me. Yeah, you to tell yourself. Not to spend. And basically, my from personal experience, I've fallen for it because Aces, Urban Outfitters, every single online retailer offers this student discount of 20 to 25 percent. And let's just say my expenditure for the first four weeks of university mm -hmm. uh, had four figures in there. Four figures. You heard right, guys. Four, Four figures. figures. A let's, grand and above. Let's just say I'm not proud of it. Please learn from him. Listen to what we're saying and learn from him. Don't be him. I don't know where don't that collection is either. No <laughs> You know, you're gonna end up spending anyway, so we might as well just teach you how to save your money. Okay, so. <laughs> Sorry. Literally every single video we've done. <laughs> Every single video. <laughs> so, with the new head card, you can get a whole range of discounts. So, from 26% off on National Express and around 10 to 20% off retailers, depending on you know seasonal discount. Another way to get discounts for students is Uni Days. Now, Uni Days. Um, now, the discounts that it gives you uh, vary from you know restaurants to uh, retailers, especially retailers from Raven 25% off to uh, Asus 10% off, and obviously depending on the seasonal offers that they have. Just a quick side note for those of you who are thinking about getting the NUS card, especially if you go to our university, we have a co-op that's just down the road. You can get 10% off with NUS extras. It's something to look forward to. It's not. I'm putting down. <laughs> I'm putting that. <laughs> Bring your card because yeah, they will always ask for your card. So the best place to get student discounts and freebies is from a Freshers Fair. Yeah. Now Freshers Fair is important to attend if you want to join up to societies and stuff. But the best bit is definitely the freebies and the discounts such as Domino's one pound pizza. Now it is the perfect place for companies to advertise themselves. So it's literally a win-win situation for our students. So from our last Freshers, we got a bag like this. Everybody got a bag like this. And it was just full of loads of cute things like, you know, memorabilia, you got your little freshers cup. You now as you go around to other stores, you can pick up things like pens and little sticky pad note things and just things that you might think are miscellaneous, but in the end you'll end up using them when you're revising or something. So yeah, I would definitely recommend you go into a freshers bag. <laughs> Now finally, last year we didn't actually um, disclose too much information about this but it was the topic that 
people ask us the most about and that is the hardship fund now the hardship fund is something that university provides for people in case of emergency it is a financial help that's based on your current financial situation based on that they will decide what how much to give you there's a whole process that you can access through um, the university's website yeah for other students I definitely definitely suggest you that you go onto your university's website and look for all the help that they can give you you know expenses are getting higher and higher for students so it's always a good thing to um, be aware of like the different financial help that university is able to provide you now if you have any more questions about the, the this topic uh, definitely check the advice and support center or the student union website so that concludes the money management section of our freshest survival guide yes do look into our student unions youtube channel for further information on our university and we'll leave all the links down below now again, if you feel our content and you find it useful, make sure you hit that like, share and subscribe. If you have any other specific questions, definitely put it in the comments below. We have a couple of videos coming through to your way. We're working alongside our student union this time, so we have loads of lots of information to give you. This is all from us. <laughs> Till the next time. <laughs> Bye. Peace.